who do you think got the better deal out of the Amaya and PokerStars acquisition? The Scheinbergs or David Bazov? Hmm. I think PokerStars, probably. But on the other hand, um, I think David Bezov got also a long-term value, which, uh, which I think it was a very good move strategically. So in a way, I think it was a win-win deal for both of them. But I think in the short term, poker starts definitely. So who do you think got the better deal, the Scheinbergs or David Bezov? Um, it's a, it's gonna, I think it's going to be in the fullness of time one to understand who gets the best deal. I think Scheinberg's obviously got a full value deal, and I think congratulations to them because they have built a very successful business. Um, the opportunity, there are opportunities and challenges for uh, David. Uh, firstly, you know, obviously the uh, the benefits going to be New Jersey potentially licensing them, and as well as the US opening up. I think the uh, the challenge is going to be he's obviously taking on a lot of debt, and also he's not going he's not going to be a private company anymore. And, Poker Stars is not going to be able to be as aggressive as they have been, I think, potentially in the future because of the public markets. There should be a, a decrease in the PE value that you would apply to the Poker Stars because there's the, the question of the ability to go back to the United States. But at the same time, it's been bought pretty much at a standard PE ratio for iGaming companies uh, that, are, that are traded publicly. But you would think this is not a standard company. This is like the market leader. So there actually should be a premium. So it seems like the, the question of getting back in the United States versus the premium that they should get for being the number one have kind of leveled each other out. So I think the deal is actually really fair on both sides. David is in an amazing position and a lot of people would love to trade places with him. Um, he's achieved a, an amazing amount, but what he could hope to achieve is you know, to achieve more than the Scheinbergs have achieved. So the Scheinbergs have said, look, we can't do any better than this. We're going to take $4.9 billion off the table. And now David's job is to make that worth 10, 15, 20 billion. I would say it's even harder to go from a $5 billion valuation to a 20 billion. But, um, you know, David Bazov is an amazing guy. So who knows? I think with all these things, you have to wait and find out, A, whether what was reported was real and B, whether it turns out the way it was supposed to. So, um, I don't know, but ask me again in six months. <laughs> Very good answer.